Welcome to this psychology series. In this video, we are going to talk about neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are often referred to as the body's chemical messengers. They are the molecules used by the nervous system to transmit messages between neurons or from neuron to muscle. A neurotransmitter can work in two ways. They are excitatory or inhibitory and neuromodulators. Excitatory transmitter promotes the generation of action potential in the receiving neurons while inhibitory transmitter prevents it. A neurotransmitter being excitatory or inhibitory depends on the receptor it binds to. Neuromodulators affect a large number of neurons simultaneously at once. Therefore, they regulate the population of neuron and operate over a slower time than excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters. The nervous system regulates the physiology of the human body. The brain, spinal cord and nerves comprise the nervous system. This nervous system regulates the whole body by nerve impulses that are transmitted by neurotransmitters. There are approximately 50 neurotransmitters in the human body. Of them, some are rapidly acting while others are slow acting. Some of the rapidly acting neurotransmitters are listed here. Apart from this, there are many other neuropeptides. These neuropeptides are relatively larger molecules and they act slow and they are listed here. Neurotransmitters are the chemical messengers released at the nerve junction. They are released into the junction of two neurons which is called a synaptic cleft and then they act on the receptors present on the next neuron to continue the signal. Thus they help our brain to control the functions and movements of our body organs. These organic substances have a short span of action. Their action lasts for a fraction of second at times. But some of them produce action for a long time. Based on their role in the body, they can be studied as classical neurotransmitters which are fast acting and non-classical ones which are slow and long acting. Classical neurotransmitters are the ones with a wide distribution in the body and have a larger role in physiology. Any small change in their quantities or function will lead to disorder. Acetylcholine, which is found throughout the central nervous system, in the autonomic nervous system and at all neuromuscular joints, is involved in muscle action, learning and memory. Norephrine is found in neurons in the autonomic nervous system. It was primarily involved in control or alertness and wakefulness. Dopamine is produced by neurons located in a region of the brain called the substantia nigra, is involved in movement, attention and learning. Degeneration of dopamine producing neurons has been linked to Parkinson's disease. Too much dopamine has been linked to schizophrenia. Serotonin is found in neurons in the brain and the spinal cord. It plays a role in the regulation of mood and in the control of eating, sleep and arousal. It has been implicated in the regulation of pain and in dreaming. Gamma aminobutyric acid is found throughout the brain and spinal cord. It is a major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. Abnormal levels have been implicated in sleep and eating disorders. Non-classical neurotransmitters are less widely distributed and also have few functions in the body. Also minute changes in their quantities will not affect or lead to major disorders. Hope you like this video. Thank you.